Having enjoyed a worldwide hit with their song Video Kill the Radio Star, the Buggles then shot the music world by joining up with the legendary rock band Yes to record the album Drama. I think a lot of the Yes fans at the time were, um, were pretty surprised about these two pop guys suddenly joining their revered rock band, you know. And um, it was it was an interesting time for me because I, I made the transition from just being a, a guy in the back room, and all, certainly when we went on TV as pop pop stars on top of the pops and all the rest of it. Um, all of a sudden, we were propelled into one of the most um, biggest progressive rock bands of all time. So it was, it was a pretty big transition for me. For instance, I think that the biggest gig I'd done before was probably to maybe five or six hundred people. All of a sudden the first gig with Yes was, um, was actually in Canada, Toronto Maple Leaf Gardens, and that was in front of 20,000 people. So it was, um, it was a pretty scary time, certainly going into a band like that. Yes, we'll soon be in South Wales rehearsing at Monmouth as they prepare for next month's tour where they'll play drama in its entirety. Uh, it was great, great times and um, over the period of time I think that the Yes fans who were maybe certainly had a reticence to accept that position um, became very, very positive about the album drama. And I think today if you listen to the album uh, it, it stands up, it stood the test of time. I think it got some number two here in the album charts, which was no mean feat. I, I think it did better than the previous album, Tormaso, so in terms of uh, acceptance it, 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 by the record buying public at the time, it was it was uh, okay. You know, it did quite well. last few years, as you know, we've been doing uh, other Yes albums like the Yes album and Close to the Edge and Going for the One in their entirety. I think that it brings back some, it will bring back a lot of memories for us. And I think that, you know, as I said, I think that album is still stands up. You know, I think it's a strong album. I think there's some, some, some great moments. And it's very much a, a transitionary album from Yes's standpoint is that it propelled them from that 70s generation uh, where they were kind of, you know, punk had come in and progressive music at that time was not really at the front at the front of people's imagination or people's appreciation. And I think that we kind of propel Yes into a new sound, a new generation. And yes had got more of a kind of techno, technological aspect to them rather than playing these long pieces mm. from the you know, from the uh, 70s. The tour will kick off in Glasgow next month, then 10 dates later it'll finish in London at the Royal Albert Hall. <laughs>